All right, so InfoSec streaming, why, how, and do, are there any dangers? Uh, so six months ago, I started to do some InfoSec streaming, and here is a short return of experience. Why one would like to do that? First, it's really cool. You get to gain some knowledge, meet really cool people, have shared projects, and have a lot of fun. And it's always a new pretext to get new subjects. Cons. It's uh, really, really time consuming, and you do need to have a good internet connection, a good hardware, a decent security setup to not get pwned on the first stream. And of course, it can be dangerous. Or can it be? We'll see soon. How? A few things to keep in mind. You need to have hardware, you need to have a decent setup, you need to have ways to uh, manage your uh, video streams, and you need uh, ways to make knowledge uh, affordable, uh, even for people that do not speak your language. Or, I mean, I want to. Here is the setup we try to obtain, so be able to have one to end guests, be able to tweak a bit the scenes, have a live chat, and have uh, the capability to show other external inputs. So that's how the regie kind of looks. Here is what I had for the hardware uh, side of things, just a new decent microphone to uh, 50 uh, euros and a camera is good enough. And of course you do need to have ways to manage your sound setups a bit more precisely than the default Ubuntu Sound Manager and OBS. This one is a gem. Video Ninja has been made open source by their creators to be able to just allow anyone to manage streams, open source conferencing for free, peer to peer. Is that just a lovely tool? Uh, have fun with it. It's, it's free and can help you share music with your coworker even. AI. Uh, well, AI to have translation for the subtitles, to generate voice to text subtitles and translate them to make knowledge uh, available for anyone. Well, Doing the AI does not require you to do the AI. Nice, because I'm not that kind of person. Um, is it safe? Raise your hand if you think this is a really dumb idea to do <laughs> infosex streaming. OK, thanks. That's not dumb. Yet, it's not dumb, but it's still not safe at all. Um, there are just, I don't want to make a huge list of what can go wrong and why this is stupid to do so, but if you do want to try to do that by yourself, please take a few things into consideration. Even if you do try to record and share just a VM screen, you will end up leaking things. Many topics require you to not work within a virtual machine, so this is not something you can always do. So always try to keep in mind that your shell history can fire back with tokens, with links. Your browser history can fire back. Um, your traffic in inspection while trying to show uh, things within Wireshark, it's your network and your internal traffic, so this can go bad. Um, even if you're safe because you've been, well, streaming for a while and made issues, maybe your, guest, your guests are not aware of that and they will for sure make mistakes. So always take the time to uh, let them know what they can and must not do for their security. Even your viewers can try to do things, try to, to, to mimic what you're trying to do and can, have, uh, can set themselves in danger as well. Um, well, try to not have all your secrets in your env. Try to. Uh, and to me, the most um, unthought thing is sound recording. We all type stuff, and so far maybe I put online uh, 100 hours of video content. We all type key keystrokes just with our fingers. Anyone can take your recordings, your past talks from one to 10 years ago, do some, well, statistics, uh, probabilities, AI, pick your gem, and recover what you typed, including passwords, email, private conversation. Think about it and, uh, well, share knowledge, but try to stay safe and not shoot yourself in the foot. And if you want to have some insights, stream, or join the community and su suggest topics, jump in. Thanks.